Lesson 4. Stairs. Here we will be looking at types, properties and placing stairs. Railings. Here we will be looking at types, properties and placing railings. Shafts. Here we will be looking at creating a shaft and properties. Okay, uh, this is lesson 4. We're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be making uh, a shaft. We're going to be adding stairs and we're going to be adding railings so let's go with stairs first so if you like to go to the first floor plan actually sorry ground level floor plan and click on the architecture tab and go across to the stair tool click stair tool and click we can add different types of stairs so we've got the spiral we've got the uh, u-shape winder there we've got the l-shape winder spiral shape and then you can create your own, but we're just going to do the default straight one. So all I want to do is just drag it, click anywhere and drag it across and we've created our stairs. So top level will be the first floor, you can change that, so if you want the base level, like say if you want to go from the first floor to the second floor, you can just quickly change that to the first floor and then obviously the other one to the second floor and it will move the stairs up a floor so now we need to click the green tick to finish there we go so now we have uh, added our stairs we've got to 3d view click on the section box then in the properties palette and then use these arrows to zoom to open a section of the building so now we can see the stairs now how do we go up those stairs there's not an opening there so we need to use a tool called shaft now shaft creates openings through your building from it can go from the bottom floor to the very top floor so say if you have 10 floors it can go throughout the building so that's that's another way stuff like if you're creating adding elevators that would be perfect for it the shaft but or oh, stairs if they're all in the same place then yeah so we're going to uh, make a shaft opening here above the stairs so we go to first floor and we need to click on to architecture tab again and then go to shaft opening click on shaft and now click on the rectangle tool and click just on the edge there on the corner and then get it lined up with that one and go to estimate the layer uh, how far you want to go I think it'll be about here would be perfect and then you click the green tick and then there's our shaft so we go back to 3d view and now look I've created a shaft but as you can see it goes through the first uh, ground floor and the first floor so we don't want that because there's a hole in the ground so what we want to do is click on there as you can see or you can do that in the first floor on the first floor plan by clicking the shaft and then edit sketch but let's go to the 3d view and do it and now you can see here in the properties palette the properties of it we want to change the top constraint to first floor and ground level to first floor so it only opens the first floor it only does a shaft in the first floor as you can see so that's about good enough for someone to get the head over let's make it a bit bigger actually so what we want to do is go to first floor again click on to the sorry let's go to 3d view go to shaft click on that now go to first floor oh sorry 3d edit now we'll go to first floor and we will edit the shaft you can just click on it and drag or you can use your arrow to be more accurate so I'm going to use my arrow and let's do it about here so press the green tick again and there we go we've made the shaft even more bigger so that's about good enough, I would say, for someone to get uh, up. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the railings. We're going to add railings. And then also after railings, we're going to show you that you can change the railings of the uh, on the side of the stairs and change the types of the stairs. So in the type select, change the type of stair there is. So let's start with the railings. So if you go to Architects tab again and click on Railing. You can uh, 
Use the tool to sketch around your thing, so that's good for the floor plan. You can use this to go around where your a shaft opening is. That would be perfect to do. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the, like get the line tool, draw a line down to here, line down to here. And a line down to here. Okay, there's our railing. Let's tick that. Let's have a look. See if that's worked. Okay, as you can see here, it's put it on the ground floor plan. Ground level. So all we want to do is change that to first floor. And it's up there now. So, now what we want to do is... change Maybe change the railing. So the type of railing. Uh, we can change it to pipe. That seems pretty cool. Change it to a glass panel. See if that's so cool. Hey, yeah, that's better. Let's have it glass panel. Okay, now let's uh, change the uh, change the stairs. So what I want to do is click on the stairs and change it to which one you like. So let's look at precast stair. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that one, it's a bit ugly. Let's change it again. Let's have a look at the commercial one. Okay. Commercial one's pretty cool. But let's take it back to the normal one. Private. Okay, so that's uh, changing the properties of the stairs, so like changing where, changing the type of uh, stairs. Okay, so let's change the railings on the stairs. So let's change it to, let's change to glass. Okay, that that's pretty cool. Let's change that one to glass. Now we have glass railings and glass stairs got uh, railings going up the stairs so that's uh, covered about the railings uh, shafts and stairs